Hi, I'm Josh Garman with TJ Snow Company. Today we're going to talk about some of the more advanced features of the Intron 6001 control. If you haven't already watched our initial programming video, we suggest you do that before watching this video. Next, we're going to move on and start looking at the status screens. This page typically displayed when running the machine. It displays current one, current two, the active well schedule, and any errors that may exist. Status page two provides a written description of the error instead of a code number. It also includes detailed information from the last well. Status page three provides part counter and stepper information. Status page four displays the line voltage and status of inputs and outputs. Now we'll talk about how to copy weld schedules. From status screen one, we're gonna hit the F key, scroll down to number three, choose copy schedule and hit enter. And you're gonna put the schedule you wanna copy from. We'll say one here, hit enter. And we're gonna copy it to schedule two, hit enter. And now it's gonna ask you to confirm it. Go hit enter again. Now it says done, schedule has been copied. The next thing we'll cover is the built-in counter. So hit the F key to go to the main menu, then scroll down to setting number five, which is edit counter. The enter key, now you see you have a display for part count done, well count done here. You wanna enable the parts counter here, then set the maximum parts you want to count. This control has a unique feature and it allows you to count welds per part as well. So if you're doing multiple welds on one part, it's going to count those before incrementing the maximum part counter. Now let's make a few welds and watch it. Now when you see when I reach the maximum part count, it won't let me weld anymore without going down to reset the counter. Now we will discuss how individual errors are handled. An error can be reset by selecting Reset Error and choosing Yes from the main menu or by assigning it to the PI3 or PI4 input and momentarily making that input high. Now let's talk about how error conditions are handled. From the Config menu, you can select how you want the control to react when an error occurs. The choices are continue, stop, or headlock. Potential safety issues need to be considered if headlock is selected. The error mapping screen can be accessed from the setup menu. The error mapping screen allows you to assign each error as a major fault, minor fault, or none. You could then wire the major or minor fault output to a PLC or stack line. Now we will discuss how programmable inputs and outputs can be configured. Typical weld inputs and outputs like initiation, no weld, and valve outputs are fixed and cannot be changed. The control also comes with six programmable inputs and four programmable outputs. Each input or output has four to five choices that can be selected. That about wraps up the more technical features of the 6001. For more information, contact us at tjsnow.com 
or contact the service department.